Hello everybody, this is Robert L. Reed demonstrating the latest version of VentOS um, in combination with some other software pieces which should allow us to demonstrate it, in particular the Vent Display. VentOS is a project of helpful engineering that is designed to be a universal platform for respiratory support devices such as mechanical ventilators, uh, BPAP or BiPAP machines and CPAP machines and possibly even PAPers. What you're seeing here is the vent display, which is rendering a pressure and flow waveform, which is broken up into breaths um, by a thresholding algorithm that we have, producing a display similar to what you might see on a mechanical ventilator. This is in fact running in a web page um, using some data transmission standards which are developed by Public Invention called the Public Invention Respiratory Data Standard which captures all of this information. VentOS is not running on a computer but is running on a microcontroller. In this case it's an ESP32 which is attached through the serial port on my desktop. Uh, so what you're seeing is the output of a tiny computer, a microcontroller as one would embed it inside a uh, electronic ventilator. What we've done here is modify the vent display software to allow certain controls uh, of the simulated ventilator to be controlled. And so I'm going to send those to the machine right now, which should produce a change in the behavior that we'll be able to see up in these waveforms. Okay, and as you can see, the pressure has increased to approximately 35. It's got some simulated noise in there. That's why it's not exactly 35 um, centimeters of water. And the flow has changed as well to reach a tidal volume, uh, a default tidal volume in this case of 350 milliliters. Um, of course, it changes a little bit as each breath goes through there. Now I'm going to increase the um, tidal volume to 800, which would be a very, very high uh, tidal volume. That's for a large adult male. And um, in doing that, the flow had to increase in order to get the um, uh, total volume to equal 800 milliliters in the relatively short time that we have. Now we can change the um, exhalation to inhalation ratio to something closer to one down here with these controls and send that to the simulation. And that will make the waveform a little bit uh, uh, more even. You can see here the pressure wave now has the same inhalation period where pressure is being applied to the exhalation period which drops to the so-called peep pressure of five centimeters of water, uh, although it goes all the way up to 35 at the inspiration time. So let us suppose that we needed to increase the inspiration pressure just a little bit. I can do that and we'll be able to see it come out here. Now the pressure has increased just a little bit and I can, for example, increase the respiratory rate which will make it go faster, but will make each breath necessarily be shorter. You can see the inhalation time has gotten shorter. Now, this would be much more impressive if it were using an actual hardware machine that was actually blowing air into a test lung. That is, in fact, the purpose of VentOS, but right now we're doing this in simulation. We're doing it with drivers, which uh, presumably all we have to do is obtain hardware, write the proper drivers, and we'll be able to obtain something very similar to this effect uh, with the VentOS. So this is a prelude to us using this on real machines. Thank you for your attention.